Creator did not choose for my peoples chickens, cows, pigs, or goats. But we have seals, walrus, reindeer, polar bears, all kinds of seabirds, fish, and whales, and that's why we hunt for these animals. Creator put the first yuke, the first human, in the kayak, the idea that kayak came from us. We say kayak. And the kayak washed up on the beach. The animals were curious. They pulled in the kayak, and inside they saw a creature. He was sleeping. And the caribou says, look at this creature. He's not going to be able to survive. He's going to freeze to death. He doesn't have fur like us. And the polar bear says, he can't hunt like us. He doesn't have claws or teeth like us. He's certainly not going to make it. And we're going to call him Yuk. That's right, he's human. We must give ourselves to this human because without us, he won't be able to survive as long as he respects us. You cannot take more than what you need. You must not waste and you must share because without our fur, you'll freeze to death. Without our bones, you cannot make tools. Without our meat, you cannot eat. So as long as you respect us, we will give ourselves to you. And that's why Alaska Native people, when we hunt and we gather, we try to utilize everything as much as we possibly can. It's about the language, it's about the dancing, it's about the stories, it's about the Native games. It's all of that, and they're all connected. The hunting that we do when we're out seal hunting, that act of hunting and providing for your family is then celebrated through song, through dance, which is then told in stories. All these layers and layers of our artistic practice and our, our culture, that's what connects and binds us. So the skin will tell the differences in the fish. Kings have little spots on them. It's like so good when it's oily like that. We eat a lot of our foods raw or fermented or preserved in these different ways that aren't like what traditional like culinary cooking would be. Um, but it has so many different vitamins and nutrients for you, like in seal. So when Russians and explorers came to the Aleutian Islands, they were like, how are these people with no fruits? Like not, how do they not have scurvy? <laughs> well, it's because seal has a ton of vitamin C, especially in its internal organs, and we would eat those raw. So raw, they have the most vitamin C, and the more you cook it, the less vitamin C it has. This is what Inupiaq people call muktuk. Alech is a whale, and this is bowhead whale. It's one of the whales that, I think it's, it's the skin and the blubber. We just eat it raw. A lot of people like to dip it in soy sauce or eat it with like kimchi. Every time we eat our native foods, we always say that it makes our spirit full. So it's not just about feeling full, um, like physically, but eating the foods that we've always eaten is a really deep connection to place. And it's, um, it invites all of these relationships that we have to sustain and maintain in order to keep fostering these returns for our survivance. So one of the ways that we talk about subsistence and futurity is that, you know, our ancestors were thinking about us when they were harvesting seals and salmon and bird eggs and berries and fish because they did it in a sustainable way. 